afternoon. I'm Kim Baez. Just a couple hours ago, AFD announced the huge fire near downtown was accidental. Investigators also revealed today that medical records were being stored in the warehouse and getting them out has been a big problem. News 13's Caitlin McCarthy is live near Broadway and Mountain with more. Kim, almost a week after the fire started, crews can't get back inside to put out the still smoldering materials because they're afraid the high storage racks they're on will collapse. The fire started last Wednesday night here at the Springer Industrial Center. A huge plume of smoke could be seen throughout downtown, and high winds made fighting this three-alarm fire very tricky. Plus, tar inside the building caught fire and created more spot fires. Fire Chief James Breen says it was a heating, ventilation, and cooling unit that caused the fire that used unit had just been inspected in April and no problems were found, he said. The part of the building that burned was home to three businesses, including that medical record storage facility called TMM Business Record Storage. A concern for AFD is making sure the information on those medical records stays in the right hands. And that's why we're taking the extra steps to work with the property owner and the occupant that houses the medical records so that those records could be secured. Um, and that's why we're just not going to go in and start pulling out records and putting it on the curb. Uh, we believe that those records have value. There's some private information on that. And those things need to pr be protected from loss. ATF agents were called to help out with the investigation because of the complexity of the scene and the extensive damage. Chief Breen says they're working out an agreement with the property owners so crews can get back inside and safely extinguish the rest of the fire. Kim, back to you. Okay, thanks, Caitlin. Now the fire department estimates the damage at about $10 million.